Okay, so we understand now that industry analyst relations management is not for every startup. This is only for innovators with a real differentiation strategy. What I'll show you next is not to celebrate analysts either. In fact, you don't even have to have an analyst subscription or be an analyst firm client at all. But here's one explanation of what's going on in the B2B tech field that you should know if you want to succeed against your rivals. So startups and scale-ups are all familiar with the tech adoption curve and the chasm you need to cross to get into scaling mode. The early majority of buyers has learned the hard way that technology can have disruptive powers in just about every market. So they know they must act sooner. And these buyers now look across the chasm basically from their end to qualify these new technologies, new types of solutions, and possibly new vendors. But since B2B tech is a complex world and they cannot risk entire tech architectures, they turn to industry analysts for guidance. And that's because the analyst value proposition is not to celebrate tech like paid influences, but to carefully qualify new approaches and solutions, the viability, potential risks and success criteria in detail. So industry analysts guide and protect the early majority buyers from sometimes overly confident vendor marketing. And what's great for startups? Well, how analysts work can level the playing field for you because analyst reports like an IDC Futurescape, like a Forrester Tech Tide or like Gartner's Emerging Tech Radar, and these are just a few prominent ones, these reports do mention outstanding vendors, outstanding innovators as viable example vendors, and that can include startups. Now, contrary to popular belief, you cannot buy your appearance here. No matter if you're an IBM or a startup, you can only earn your way into such reports because the analyst can only grow their own brand value by pointing to real innovation that they are confident about. Again, great for startups because it levels the playing field for you. And if you succeed and score a mention, it elevates you into qualified visibility and can catapult you across that chasm. It simply gets you into a much better position to win strategic customers sooner than your rivals. And it also can unlock better investment too, because it tends to inform VC's term sheet calculations, of course. My name is Chris Holscher, and this is only one short piece of an entire webinar about how startups break into competitive tech markets and create new ones. My dear friend Robin Schaffer and I give you an introduction to this rarely revealed part of the playing field, that is, industry analyst relations management for startups. You get orientation, latest research data, real startup examples, and actionable advice. Just follow the link.